Hi everybody, this is Kentai P again, and my newest tutorial is about how to properly equalize Vocaloid 2 in FruitTube Studio. And uh, what you're gonna need, you're gonna need of course FruitTube Studio and the Vocaloid 2 editor. And in Fruity Loops you're going to need your pattern board, right here. And on the left, your song board. And on the right, your mixer board. That's the most important part of today's tutorial, because here the actual equalizing is done. And second to the right, your explorer, but I've already had opened that up. So uh, let's just go to Vocaloid 2 editor first. I have the tempo setting of 120 and I have a tempo setting of 120 in Fruity Loops 2. So there is going to be no problem. After the four blank texts, I'm going to enter something simple. Building on what I did last time with the C major, I'm just going to advance it about uh, two notes and make it quarters instead of half notes. I'm gonna write foo ru ti ru pu su which is fruity loops and syllables. So uh, that's what I'm gonna make Miku sing and I'm gonna press play and he asks me if I want to rewire I say yes. He rewires and I press play again so the play button is inlined and the both programs are now ready to get in sync. And on your pattern board, of course, you're gonna need your rewired channel. I've already set that up here with Vocaloid 2 selected as the client. But uh, how to do that, I showed you in the last tutorial. <coughs> now, uh, next, we're gonna open up our mixer board. And uh, I'm going to explain to you what it's consisting of. It's uh, consisting of 99 uh, mixer tracks. And each of those tracks can get his own equalizing. And that equalizing again can be applied to your channels on your pattern board. So if I select channel 1 and uh, give it a proper name to recognize it, I do that by pressing the F2 key and now I name it Vocaloid <clears throat> and now the first mixer track is uh, for my Vocaloid equalization of course it's not gonna work just because I named Vocaloid what I have to do is to open my Vocaloid to rewire channel and up on the right there's a little box that says FX and that I'm gonna turn up to 1 and now it's connected to the mixer track if you look closely if I change the number you'll see that different mixer tracks are highlighted just for orientation and uh, now you see that my rewiring is connected through a first mixer track and now uh, what does that track consist of we have here a green to red bar for the amplitude of the current output of course seeing how there's no output now you can't see anything underneath there's a green knob and by pressing it, it turns gray and if it's gray the track is deactivated so all output is muted and underneath you have your balance control with that you can change the balance to the right or left speaker and this here is the main volume so for each mixer track you can adjust the volume separately <coughs> and of course you can also adjust the main volume just by changing the master track the master track applies its equalizing to all channels, uh, whether they are connected or not. And uh, yeah, you can also input equalizing on the master track, but that is then applied to all of your channels. Now back to our Vocaloid channel. Down here, you can see that it's connected to other channels, which are the master channel, of course, uh, the master track, of course, and the four sand tracks. <coughs> and the four sand tracks are very important because they are very specific mixer tracks they connect to all other normal mixer tracks and uh, if I go back you see that there are one knob under each sand track if I turn those up I turn the input from the sand track to my mixer track up so equalizing I put in, in the sand tracks I can use as universal equalizing for all other tracks and that's very important I do it all the time and uh, I think you should too because it has lots of potential. And uh, what we're going to do for the first two sand tracks, we're going to use presets. 
because it makes the whole thing a lot easier. There are three main types of equalizing you're going to need for your sand channels and those are chorus, reverb and delay. And chorus and reverbs you can find in your explorer under mixer presets. And you see there's a chorus send. You just drag drop it onto send one. It's now named chorus. And the second one, reverb send, is down here. You drag drop it to the second send track. It's now named reverb. And the third track we have to make ourselves, but that's no problem. We just rename it, pressing F2 again. And we name it delay. <coughs> So, the chorus uh, channel is using the Fruity Chorus plugin, the Reverb channel is using the Fruity Reverb plugin, and the Delay channel is, you wouldn't have thought of it, using the Fruity Delay plugin. Well, actually, the Delay 2 plugin, <coughs> but it really doesn't matter. Kind of dry, we're going to turn the dry up a bit, and uh, the Delay time, just a little bit, the offset, we're going to turn up as well, and I think that's it. Well, let's turn the volume of the feedback down a bit, shall we? Now our three sand tracks are complete. And if we go back to our Vocaloid track, we can now turn them up. But we're going to do that later. <coughs> now for the equalizing of the Vocaloid track. Uh, on the side, for each track, here are eight, uh, eight little channels in which you can put in uh, different plugins. And those plugins are going to do the actual equalizing. And you can turn them off as well by pressing the green knobs next to them. So we're going to click on the arrow here. And it opens up the menu for the plugins. Many of them are VST based, but I think there are also some others. And uh, we're going to select Maximus, which is a good multiband compressor. And we're, gonna, we're not going to set them up this ourselves. <coughs> we're going to use a preset as well. Press the arrow up here go to presets and the best preset I've seen so far with this plugin is Sound Goodizer. It has uh, four sub settings which are A to D. Just choose A because it's the best setting for, uh, vo for, for vocals actually. And uh, next we're going to choose the Parametric Equalizer 2. If you click on the arrow if there's already a plugin, plugin selected He's going to open a menu and uh, you can either select a new plugin or select a preset further down. <coughs> but we're not going to set up the parametric equalizer just yet, we're going to do that a bit later. And uh, now we open our songboard. And I'm going to deactivate Maximus so there's no equalizing at all now.